Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. We have many tasks to do, many things to see, many people to visit, like Dazzle. Who am I? I'm going to go ahead and get to Dazzle and buy the Heart Finder and the Flower Finder. These two badges causes more hearts and more flowers to appear after defeating a foe. It can be especially useful, um, well, anywhere you fight enemies on the battlefield. Obviously useless in an area like Blitzville. Um... Useful in the pit of a hundred trials. Um, that's not the pipe I wanted to go down. <laughs> oh, a little rambunctious I am. I meant to get to the thousand year door after I've talked to Dazzle, so that's what we're gonna do. So we've seen this show before. Go ahead and show it off again. There's the crystal star. Let's see that magic roll in here. And our Crystal Star power of the day is Sweet Feast. This is the Mega Healing Crystal Star power. It allows you to heal a lot of HP, FP, partner HP. It can definitely help you in a cinch, but I tend to try to avoid this Crystal Star power, not because of its potential. It has potential to be absolutely awesome, but in this first showcase, I hit two poison mushrooms and I get what is essentially a double sweet treat out of that result. That was a really crappy sweet feast. So here I actually show a halfway decent sweet feast. Um, compared to Sweet Treats, where you actually have to tap left, there's a little bit less skill than Sweet Feast, which is the biggest caveat and reason why I don't like it. It's inconsistent in how much you gain out of it, so, so before I tried to avoid it, but it can save you in a pinch, and it can be especially effective if your partner is dead and using a Mario, because it's almost guaranteed to heal Mario all the way up in that case. Okay. So while uh, we get to the Professor Franken conversation, I'm actually going to tell you the first time I saw that, I thought I'd be going to a big city fighting criminals, but it actually turns out this city is uh, Poshley Heights, and Poshley Heights isn't exactly the most uh, hostile place ever. Matter of fact, it's probably the exact opposite of hostile. It's an area kind of equivalent to um, Hollywood. A lot of rich and famous people live there. It's a tourist attraction, so yeah. At the same time, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to go there and I'm going to fight criminals. It's going to be totally awesome in Paper Mario. Yes, I'm going to go fight criminal Goombas or something like that. Um, and ride that train, which in case you didn't notice, that train was very sweet looking back when we were over there in that area of Rogueport. But, uh, not much here. Looks like we've got an easy time for this crystal star. How about that? So. And we also have good news regarding the Trouble Center. There's actually only two new trebles, and one of them is going to fall directly in line with uh, what we got to do to start the next chapter. But first, we got to take care of Eve's trouble. We got to go over to Twilight Town. Um, I'm actually kind of worried about Eve because that super bomb went off in Twilight Town. And I have a feeling that place is now totally decimated. I'm going to get there, and Twilight Town's going to be like gone. And Eve's not going to be there. I'm like, I can't complete the trouble if no one's there. Speaking of things, before I totally forget about this uh, Shine Sprite, it wouldn't have helped me because I only have one and this gets me a two and I would have to get the three to rank up another party member, but it doesn't hurt to get this one now. And Twilight Town is A-OK. -okay. Matter of fact, it almost looks like no explosion happened here. By the way, um, one of these bushes had a Twilight Blade. Aw, it's gone! No fair!
Yeah, whenever the game kind of gets serious like that, um, I tend to just get quiet and let the game do all the explanations and stuff like that. Uh, main Adventure Time, or the main backtracking extravaganza Super All Trails on Struck Awesome we would have to do anyway to get to the next chapter, along with the next trouble, all squished into one package. We actually have to get back to Key Hall Key, and I was a moron for going back to Key Hall Key for that single star piece, because I totally forgot what the game's about to do. It's really obnoxious. But, uh, with that being said, and now that I've piqued everyone's interest that something obnoxious is gonna happen pretty soon, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. We gotta start off, you know, we gotta get on a luxury train. Um, I'm actually not doing bad for money, but sadly you can't just buy a ticket, but we got a ticket from the blimp by visiting the Don. We visited Don again, and he is not doing good whatsoever. He's getting nursed by his assistants here, and still feeling pretty bad here. Pretty blue. Came here for tickets for the Excess Express. And obviously the boss is very, well, family sick. He wants to see his daughter again. Now we have to go off and get Francisca back off of Key Hall Key. So before we run on over there, I actually have to start the next trouble. Oh yeah, that's right, Charlatan actually sells a Mega Rush himself. This is the Mega Rush you would naturally get in the game. I totally don't have to buy this technically, but um, for posterity's sake, I'm going to buy it anyway. Um, I would like to buy this. But I'm sadly not that rich. I'm not that rich of a guy. I will be at some point, but... So say hello to one of the creepiest troubles in the game. The one from Goom Goom. He's just looking for a gal on Keel Hall Key. Yeah, post in Rogueport, run on over to Keel Hall Key. This, this guy's already looking strange, isn't he? Anyway, we have many tasks to do on that island, so we might as well get there ASAP. And now's a good time before I totally forget to talk to Luigi. He has another marvelous compass piece from Jazzafraz Town. What an exciting adventure. Let's go ahead and hear the story. So then, <laughs> here it goes. <coughs> as soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It was a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. We're up while looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know? But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so cost Drama Llama Plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our music was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I really got hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. 
I play grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I sprawled out into the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow! Outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece to the Marvelous Compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in the Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, I'm um, sorry about that, bro. So, yeah, anyway. Then I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogue Park. Here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Um, way to go, Luigi, but unfortunately I started this one again. I'm surprised you remember this all. You have note cards. Or something like that. Alright. So his partner here is Hazy. And unlike other partners, he actually has good things to say about Luigi. Luigi is the finest grass Hazy's ever seen. Alright. Off to Keel Hall Key we go. <laughs> here, here, here we go. You must prove your love by saying I love you 100 times. Here we go. In case you didn't notice, the game already gives us a counter. Uh, this is um, something known as mashing B. I normally let people read the text, but... If you can't read that, then something is wrong with you. It's the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. You gotta tell your girlfriend here, here you gotta... I love you 100 times. There you go. Alright. So, they'll come with us after we get the ring for them. Um, you know, fudge. Let's get ourselves a good batch set up here. So everyone, say hello to the creepiest trouble in the game. This guy here. Anyway, what you gotta do is just talk to him with Goombella and watch what happens.
Okay, so that trouble got us not much, and it was rather creepy. Let's just get the heck out of this dungeon. I have no reason to be here anymore. Back the rogue port there, amigo. I always like the fact that Quartz is kind of kinda speaking s with Spanish words and mostly English. <laughs> that would have been interesting if they decide, oh, it's a side decision, we're gonna make Cortez completely speak in Spanish, but using him is very easy because it's yes or no. Oh boy, if I could remember enough of the Spanish, I could try and say, wanna cast off friend. Um, friend is amigo, by the way. Want to cast off to sea in Spanish, but sadly I don't even know enough Spanish to say that. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get this plot over with. As you can see, Frankie and Francisco run really fast, even faster than my little Yoshi. Wow, Yoshis are typically really fast too, so those are some speed barrels there. And look at that, they're already an entire screen ahead of me. I can barely keep up here. Family sick. Nah, he looks all okay now. Look at all the blue just disappeared. Okay, so he can still be feeling kind of crappy, but... <laughs> uh, get out of bed! See? One, two, ten. Well, let's see here. We need eight tickets, actually. One for me, one for Goombella, Coops, Flurry, Bass, Vivian, Bobbery, and Miss Mouse. Yeah, no. I guess the one ticket accounts for everyone, actually. So, anyway, after this little, uh, it's gonna keep going on. This little drama scene is gonna keep going on. It's nice to have the mob on your side, <laughs> without a doubt. But uh, we have more important things to do than rob poor people of their money or join an organized crime league. We have crystal stars to get! I love that line, by the way. This is why I have Bobbery out. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you shouldn't have said that out loud. Alright, looks like we have a race under our way. Just because Bobby wanted to say, let's get to Clash of the Heights and have some tea, huh? Well, we can have tea at Pasha Heights after we get the Crystal Star. Let's uh, race there. We have to go by train, by the way. Which means we ought to really defeat Feldum there. I mean, can she really outrun a train? Even with her magic teleport thing in my bobber? I don't think so. So with that, I will leave you and see you on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. 
This is Miles Luigi. Thank <laughs> you. 